It's a review of the Dowler portable 11 kilowatt EV charger. In this re review, I will be covering the price, the pros and cons, the key features, and a conclusion. Let's start with the price. So this model is an 11 kilowatt charger with Wi-Fi connectivity and it costs 349 euros with a 5 meter cable. It's also available with 10 meter cable. But Dollar also has an 11 kilowatt portable charger for 249 euros. That's without the Wi-Fi connectivity, but it has the other features. So comparing that to other portable chargers, which are similar, I think this is a very competitive price since similar models uh, seem to start at 279 euros and easily go up to 350 euros for those entry level models. And wall box models usually start at maybe around 400 euros and go up to at least 600 euros or many even over that. And if you're getting a model from the Dollar web shop, link in the description, you also get free shipping. So this portable model is very easy to use. It comes with this CEE plug. So it's a three phase plug and goes up to 16 amps. At my house, we have this uh, electric cabinet and I have a plug here where I can plug this charger in. So it plugs in just in here and now I'm good to go. And I can just leave it in here and use it as a home charger. But since it's portable, I can also take it on a trip. It also comes with this uh, shook adapter. If you need to use it as a one phase charger, that's also possible. It comes with this uh, type two um, wall uh, holder for the, the charging connector. And for the charging um, box, you have this um, mount, which you can install to a wall and get the mounting screws and the manual as well. And it has this carry-on case where you can pack it all in so that it's easy to take in your car. And this Velcro strap will make it easier to uh, fix the cables together. The charger is easy to use. Here you can set the amperage. So it's 8, 10, 13 or 16 amps. I'm going with 16 because that's the way I get the full power and there's also the button for using a timer. That's something which I personally don't need because I use grid I.O. to um, time the car charging automatically and also the Tesla app has a capability to uh, time or schedule the charging. When you're ready to charge, just open the charging port and stick in this uh, Type 2 charger into the car. And here on the device, we can see the charging has started and it went up to 11.1 kilowatt of charging speed. We can also see the energy, what has gone in. And we see the temperature. I think this is the temperature on the charger. So it does have also temperature protection and over voltage protection and stuff like that built in. The charger itself does say that you need to have on the power supply side an RCD, so that's pretty standard to have one of these RCDs in your power cabinet. In the manual it says the charger has IP65 rating, so it's waterproof and dustproof, and it also has a two-year warranty. This device has built-in Wi-Fi, so you can use it, and I did try it, so uh, it creates its own Wi-Fi network and you need to connect your mobile phone or laptop to this Wi-Fi and then browse to this IP address and you can access the UI. It's a quite basic UI, but it gets the job done. But uh, for my case, it's not actually that beneficial because I get all the stats via the Tesla app and I use Tessia as well and I can track all the charging um, charging what has been done and also schedule this charging automatically with grid IO. 
and it's not possible to connect this device to your home Wi-Fi. It, it's the only way to use it is is to connect to the Wi-Fi, the separate Wi-Fi network this device creates. So only when you're in the range of the device. Because of these limitations with the Wi-Fi, I would actually recommend getting the uh, cheaper model, which is 249 euros, or there was maybe it's a bit newer it was something like 256 euros a model without wi-fi but it's still 11 kilowatt and has pretty much all the same features as this one so i think that's the better value for money i'll leave a link down below in the description to both of those okay let's next go into the pros of this product so i think it has good build quality and it's very easy to install just plug in uh, the plug here and you don't need an electrician so there's no extra cost for that electrician to come in and the device itself is inexpensive so this is I think the cheapest way of getting an 11 kilowatt charger at home and this is the maximum which most cars take anyway I have a Tesla Model Y and it takes 11 kilowatts it's very rare to see cars with 22 kilowatt charging. And in any case, um, this has only three phases with 25 amps. So that wouldn't be even enough for 22 kilowatts. So I think one pro is as well that it's portable, so you can take it also on a trip. And the three phase charging is awesome. It's three times faster than one phase charging at 16 amps. So I think that's great because compared to a one-phase charger, now you can take advantage of the faster charging time, but also take advantage of uh, market price electricity. If you have a variable rate electricity contract like I do, um, I personally use Crit IO, which automatically uh, tracks the market price of the electricity and then triggers the charging of the car when it's uh, at its cheapest so with more uh, power going into the car it of course uh, utilizes more of that cheap electricity okay let's next cover some cons of the product i think uh, the the long charging cable is great but i would have hoped to have some more cable in between the plug and the box because it, it did have that nice kind of wall mount and if it would go at least a bit lower i would be able to mount it in here but actually if it would be even a bit more long i could mount it outside this cabinet and uh, not have it uh, locking inside there it, it i'm able to close the cabinet just push the device uh, in here and then take the cable out of here so it's uh, easy to use in that sense but just a bit longer of course that's various by location but maybe a longer cable here would give some flexibility another con is the wi-fi connection which i already mentioned i was kind of hoping i would be able to connect it to my home wi-fi that would have made it a lot more uh, flexible with the wi-fi connection so as a conclusion i would say that this charger is very functional and it's a very good price it's perfect for every anyone who wants to save money by avoiding installation costs and wants a portable charger uh, you can also find it on amazon and it has 4.4 out of 5 stars so i think uh, that indicates others have also found this device good so I, I can recommend this device with, for every, anyone with those needs. If you want to support the channel, uh, check the links down below in the description to the Dollar web store and also uh, to Amazon. Those are affiliate links and it helps out the channel if you divide, decide to use those links without any extra cost to you. On the dollar website you can see this 11 kilowatt portable charger is 249 and this other model might be a bit newer is 259 so actually i think uh, this might be the best choice uh, this one is the wi-fi model which i have 
Dabbler also has other products like wall boxes and adapters and some accessories. So um, check the link down below in the description and they do have a free shipping in Europe at least with at least in Europe with DHL and, and shipping was very fast. So that's nice. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.